Hi, my name is Terry Jones, and I'm a senior film student within the College of Visual and Performing Arts. Today, my topic of discussion is historical trauma and the American Indian boarding school experience. My poster and video are divided into four parts. The first part is social worker and PhD researcher Maria Yellowhorse Braveheart's definition of historical trauma. The second part contains pertinent information about historical trauma. The third part deals exclusively with American Indian boarding schools. The fourth part is my primary research interviewing my parents, James and Alberta Jones. From 1855 to 1956, the Thomas Indian Boarding School was open on my Indian reservation in Western New York State. The whole purpose of my interview is to get my parents' first-hand experiences. It is my hope that those who really know nothing about historical trauma may be able to understand it uh, more profoundly uh, when there's a human face and personal story attached to it. Thank you. want to say any more just about your definition for historical trauma before we fast forward to where, what you're doing now? Yes, it's, I define it as um, cumulative emotional and psychological wounding across mm -hmm. generations, including one's own lifespan. Look what's happened mm -hmm. to all our people, mm -hmm. all our ancestors across time that we're just carrying this on yeah. and it's affecting us. And there have been horrendous things that have happened. And mm -hmm being survivors of, of massacres, you know, like the Wounded Knee Massacre mm -hmm. and, and the mass graves where those ceremonies couldn't be performed at that time. Right. Um, those are things that affect people and that this, the grief and the trauma just gets carried on and on. Yeah, and in my experience with uh, the evaluation and research we've been doing, with this is that people at least perceive it as being helpful, the historical uh, trauma concept. Absolutely. And they start to feel this release of pressure and like, oh no, no wonder I feel this way. Exactly. And one, one individual I know that um, is more of an elder stated that, um, and had been in outpatient behavioral health treatment for mm -hmm for many years said that no one ever asked her about her boarding school trauma and oh, she was never yeah. able to talk about it until she started doing the, the historical mm. trauma work nice and that she really felt like this weight had been lifted off of her So I'm here today with my mom and dad. Uh, we live on the Seneca Nation Reservation, which is located south of Buffalo. And there, there was a uh, Indian residential boarding school that was located on a reservation, which uh, ran from 1855 to 1957. And uh, I'm gonna uh, introduce you to my mom and dad. So if you can tell us your name and how old you were when you went into the school. My name is Alberta Jones and I went to the school when I was five years old in 1950, and I was there until I was 11, and, and left in 1956. Uh, my name is James Jones, and I went to that school when I was, when I was five, until it closed. And I went to go on after that. And it closed in 1957, right? Yeah. Um, do you guys remember anything in particular at being at the school, like a daily routine or 
Or what memories do you have, earliest memories do you have of being there? I just remember that I was sick a lot, that I was, they sent me to the building that had the dorms and rooms of the hospital. I think it was like three floors, they used to do surgeries there and minor surgeries. And <clears throat> I had the childhood um, diseases, mumps, measles, yellow jaunas. And so it's, that's all I, a lot of remember is being in there most, a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And did you have TB, no? Yeah, I did. I think they sent me to Buffalo, and I just remember being in the crib. That's all I remember. And you, Dad? Oh, I just remember going there, going to that school, and going home afterwards. Mm -hmm. And um, going to the to, to the dances. I was getting there and heard all the screaming and. We all took off and ran in the woods. Screaming? Why were they screaming? They, they, were, they weren't using Novocaine. They were just pulling teeth and, and using the drill on everybody. And I just remember that I heard, everybody heard that and they all took off different ways. Mm -hmm. Ran to the creek. Mm -hmm. And that's all I remember is just the bad stuff like that. I don't remember any good things. <laughs> <laughs> and my, did, um, how old were you when you, because you, you have how many brothers and sisters? Um, <clears throat> three brothers and three sisters. And you didn't know, did you know when you were at the school when? No, I don't remember. I just remember they were, when I had my tonsils out that they said uh, your sister, is, if you had a sister, would take care of you after you got out of surgery. I just remember my oldest sister, Gloria, being there. I don't remember what happened or, that's what I remember. <clears throat> and then, um, so I'm gonna ask you a, a question that came up in my class in, in this book that we read. And, and um, I just wanna see how you guys respond to it in terms of whether it's positive or negative. When I mention something, say like justice or police, how do you how do you feel about being American Indian and 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 having what's your opinion on police or the justice system? Well, to me, that the justice system against the Indian is is um, uh, it's not fair. They always lose no matter what. And as far as I can remember, that it's always been that way. It's always been they lose no matter what what they didn't need for never or they were right it would come out wrong so that's what I think about the justice system mm -hmm. how about medical professionals do you have any opinion on med on doctors or anything like that in general I don't think we really get the best treatment that you would have if you've had the money and you could pay for you know the better I guess doctors, I don't know. Seem like a lot of people say that the, they hire the doctors that are just coming out of school or need, um, I don't know how you say it, like they're not that experienced or they're foreign doctors and they need to get their foot in the medical field so they put them in clinics like the res, they're not hospitals, they're clinics. So it seemed like things have happened to people that if they had better care, they w maybe would have lived longer. Oh, the media, like how, do you have an opinion on how they, how they portray American Indians or reservations? Oh, I think that the, well, the, they want to print the bad stuff about the Indians. And there's all you see in the papers, all the bad stuff. They don't see any, any good good things that are said about them. Mm -hmm. Bad stuff like what? Oh, just um, drunk driving and... Um, uh, Not clean. Yeah, uh, just, just like uh, dirty stuff. 
I never seen that goes along with that. It's not right. Mm -hmm. And then one more thing. So how old were you when you left the boarding school? And then what did you do afterwards in terms of education? I went to another children's home off the res, a Methodist home when I was 11 till I graduated and when I was 18. And then I went to Mount St. Mary's School in Niagara Falls for um, studies to be a RN registered nurse. And me, I didn't, I didn't graduate or anything, but I, I worked on my life and um, supported my family. And I was, uh, I was, uh, I was a roofer for 25 years. I would belong to a union, and I got all, all the benefits from that. But, but uh, other than that, I, I did okay for myself for not for not going through through um, high school or anything. Mm -hmm. So I left to go work. Okay. One, one, one thing I wanted to say was when I, a lot that I remember when I was um, younger, when I had to go to the hospital to stay for a few days at a time, it used to bother me that the nurses that worked there, we'd see them leave like after their work shift, and I used to hope, wish that I was going with them. <laughs> but um, th I miss that, and I didn't think about my parents. I just wished that I was leave or going with them when they left. That's a lot that I remember. Maybe because I was in the hospital, sometimes I was isolated. So that's a lot that I remember about that. Well, thanks for helping me on my project. Okay. You're welcome. Love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> right back at you.